For ABC News Live in Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Adam Kelsey. It was a busy Memorial Day weekend for Bernie Sanders here in his home region of New England, where the senator kicked things off with a major rally in Vermont's capital of Montpelier Saturday, attracting a large and enthusiastic crowd as he seeks to build momentum ahead of the first Democratic primary debate next month in Miami. And though we mostly stuck to the issues that have been the centerpieces of his presidential campaign, things like economic inequality, racial injustice, the affordability of education and health care, he also defended his stances on foreign policy telling the crowd that he's been speaking out against global conflict since the days of Vietnam and that he's currently working across the aisle in Washington to keep the U.S. out of war with Iran. From there, the senator made three stops across New Hampshire on Monday where he shared his outlook on the crowded race, saying that he likes his chances in the first caucus state of Iowa, that he's hoping for a repeat of 2016 when he won here in New Hampshire's first in the nation primary, and that he was doing, quote, much better in South Carolina where he notably struggled in gaining the support of African-American voters last cycle. Now, Sanders was just one of a number of presidential candidates who hit the trail over the holiday weekend. South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg was also here in the Granite State. While out in Iowa, Cory Booker visited nine counties on an RV road trip. Elizabeth Warren and Kirsten Gillibrand each passed through on three-day swings. Adam Kelsey, ABC News Live, Manchester, New Hampshire. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.